you, Rick. Yeah. So I was saying that uh, last year I was talking to some other rangers. This pool was quiet and still and, uh, and clear. And this year it's murky and every so often it started filling up like this and bubbling out of a different vent uh, over on that back corner. And when it does that, over a period of about 20 minutes, it'll fill up and overflow and flood over the back side here. And then it'll drain down about 14 inches or so, all in a period of about 20 minutes. And it started uh, doing this more frequently, uh, perhaps with a correlation to the 3.3 earthquake that was about three weeks ago. But you said you didn't notice it right away? Right. I didn't notice it until about 10 days ago. 10 days ago. Would that make sense that it would maybe take the, you know, the vent cracked or something and just took... Sure, and, you know, if, for instance, the reason why this pool is murky now, if it's murky because there's acidic water coming into it now, uh, dissolving clay and rock, um, it could completely change the characteristics of the pool. Um, it could even turn into a feature more like a mud pot. Um, and if that is acidic water, that could be why it took a little a little while for it to eat through the crack if another crack opened up during that earthquake. Got it.